Okay, hello dear friends. I got one friend send me this question. An object covers distance AB in the following manner. Half of the distance AB, which is AC, is covered with velocity V0. Of the remaining half, distance CD with velocity V1 for half of the time and db with velocity v2 for the other half of the time. Find the mean velocity of the object. Okay, this is the problem. Now we will do it step by step. Okay, hello dear friends. Now we will draw a diagram. There are two points, A and B. There is an object, zingoling, wingoling, move around. And for half of the distance, AC, it is exactly in the middle. This is a half of the distance. Half of the distance, we call the whole distance is D, and half of the distance is half of the distance, right? This half of distance, it travels as the velocity zero, uh, 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 velocity v0 times the first half of the time. We do not know. This is not uh, an absolute half of the time. Uh, the time we do not know. So v0 times the first part of time. And between c, d, c, b, there is a point D. It could be in the middle, could be here and there. We do not know, but they use the same time. So between CD, velocity is V1. And the time used is a half of the remaining time. It is written here, right? They told us. And from DB, velocity is V2. And the time is half of T2. And this compose another half distance, right? So what is mean velocity? Mean velocity means the whole distance traveled. No matter how you, you, you travel, you make gully bed, you timbally dumbling and, and uh, jogging or, or, or push up, whichever way you travel. The whole distance is traveled and with the complete time. Okay, so <clears throat> what we want to understand is the time. The time is the whole distance T1 plus T2, right? It composed of two parts. And from this one, from this part of distance AC, we can get V0 times T1 equal to half of the distance, right? So we can get 2V0T equal to D. So uh, 2V0T1 equal to D. So T1 equal to 2v0, uh, d over 2v0. This is important. We will use our glitter pen. Oh, no glitter pen. We will use, anyway, a fancy pen. To mark. We will use a fancy pen. This is T1. Now we need to figure out T2, V1 times half of T2 plus V2 times half of T2 equal to half of the distance. Velocity time, velocity time equal to half of the distance. So, V1 plus V2 times half T2 equal to half of the distance. We can cross cancel. So 
v1 plus v2 times t2 equal to distance t2 equal to d over v1 plus v2. Okay, another very important element we got. So now mm -hmm, we plug in back into this formula. I use another sheet of paper so that you can see. We know absolute velocity or where we say it's mean velocity is the whole distance divided by t, right? And this t is t1 plus t2 plug in. So the whole distance d t1 t1 is d over 2v0 and t2 is d over v1 plus v2 and cross cancel d all out so equal to 1 over 1 2 v0 plus 1 over v1 plus v2 and this is the pure arithmetic we will do step by step and this one we will find the common denominator so 2 v0 times v1 plus v2 and here we have to time v1 plus v2 plus 2v0 and uh, uh, divide one number equal to time. It's uh, reciprocal. We need to turn it upside down to, to, to bring the house down. So 2v0 v1 plus v2 over v1 plus v2 plus 2v0 and this is the result da, 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 da. are we ready for the rum, drum roll how i love myself what time i was and uh, any mass, mathematical problem, physical problem, chemi chemistry problem excites me, excites me, excites, 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 excites me. Thank you very, very, very much. Bye bye, friends. I love you. I really do. No, 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 no. How I love myself.